friends, and welcome back to my single player world. I'm D. I am pretty new to gaming, and uh, I've been spending a lot of time with Minecraft over the last several months. We have been exploring 1.20 here, and I've spent a lot of time the last few days uh, tagging along behind this adorable friend of mine. I think today I want to get another sniffer. And I kind of want to get a little farm going for the for the seeds and things. Um, I think I'm just going to put a little minecart underneath this place and put a gate across this door. But there are a few more 1.20 features and things that we haven't used or found. And one of those is the trail ruins, which I really want to find. So, um, if I recall correctly, there's a bunch of uh, possible biomes for that. Just kind of, what, what direction are we going? West, yes. Just a bit west of that cherry grove that we found. So, I'm gonna pop into this village while we wait for the world to load in. Hello, friends. Oh, oh it's a pretty white kitty. Now, I've actually seen some trail ruins now in people's videos and things. So, I have a better idea of, like, what I'm looking for. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. What? Ah. Oh man, I want to go in. But I'm also terrified of going in. Oh, and a pillager tower. My gosh. You know what? Let's try and take this this one on anyways. If we land on top, fingers crossed my mouse doesn't give out on me. Ah! There are allays here. Don't want to, I don't, I don't want to be taking allays home, but like, not currently. I just want to get into the chest, you know? Okay, there's nobody up top. Let's take a look. Smithing template, sentry armor trim. Very cool. And a goat horn, which is feel. Alright, which one is this? <laughs> now, if villages... Oh, speaking of which... Look at this. I was going to say, if villages generated in cherry, gro cherry groves, what would they look like? And, well, this is... Technically a meadow village, I think. But look at it. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. I love it. <laughs> oh my goodness. This can't be the same one. Oh my gosh. We have a second woodland mansion? Well... <laughs> Apparently combing uh, old growth bir birch forests, you're more likely to find woodland mansions than you are trail ruins. Goodness. I ended up turning around and going back to our cherry grove and setting off in another direction. This direction brought me to a warm ocean where I found a sniffer egg at the first ocean ruins I stopped at, so my luck was finally starting to turn around. We still spent quite a long time looking around for possible trail ruins, and I stopped at a jungle temple, which was my first time encountering one, um, at least one that hadn't been explored already. I grabbed the armor trims from that after spending way too long trying to figure out the puzzle. <laughs> and then as I was soaring over birch forests, I finally found some blocks that were actually out of place and swooped down to find the very top of a trail ruin. I spent a long time digging it out. I accidentally broke a few suspicious gravel, but it's okay because I did end up finding the music disc, which was what I particularly wanted from the trail ruins. I also pulled out a couple of armor trims, but not all four. And with our treasure all packed up in our under chest, I skadoodled right back home and hatched a little sniffer. Our little sniffer baby has been wandering around. It's awesome. I mm, My favorite thing is just 
watching them wander through a cherry grove. I don't know. It, it doesn't feel real, you know? It doesn't feel like actual Minecraft. Anyways, I think we're going to name him Sniffle or Snuffle. And I don't think I have name tags right now, so I'm going to throw up a poll on my channel um, as to whether or not we should name him Sniffle or Snuffle. Because um, I like both. But he should be growing up fairly soon. We also, I made my first hanging sign right here, and it's Snort and Friends. The other thing I need to decide is where to build our house over here. I want to change the area as little as possible, but I also want to uh, build in the midst of the cherry grove. So this is like one option for me. Another one would be this area, which is a little closer to this beautiful cave with the water feature. Let me know what you think down in the comments, because uh, I'm really bad at making decisions. <laughs> is that a black rabbit? It is. Hi, buddy. Can I grab you with the lead? I can. Okay. Uh, we're going to hang on to this little black rabbit here. Oh, he's so cute. <gasps> buddy I don't even know what I'm gonna do with you but oh did sniffle or snuffle he just screwed up now I am quite excited to get get going get working on aha there we go get working on our base out in the cherry grove but you know what we need desperately before before I feel like I can do anything else, we need to take advantage of this huge space here <laughs> and make a storage system. I feel like back along this wall currently makes a lot of sense, um, especially because I keep putting farms out there. What we need then is going to be a way to get up and down. <laughs> A slime, a slime, a slime, a slime. Which which chunk did you spawn in, Mr. Slime? Boom. Ah, at least we have some more slime balls. So it wasn't this chunk. So was it this one here, maybe? Okay, now we have a way to get ourselves up and down real easy. Which is great. Ugh, more kelp. Alright. Now the thing that we need to do is get started on the actual system itself. Okay, well, I've got 10 units of a storage system in place. And it's all bulk items, so uh, we've got, you know, some that have, like, multiple sections. So you can hear up here the dropper clip clicking. Um, so I have a timed dropper system going, and it's mostly putting stone in right now, because that's what I've been digging up. Um, but it just tosses it over the tops of the hoppers at an even temp- uh, at an even pace that, like, the hoppers can pick up. And, yeah, then it drops down on the other side, and goes into even more of the same system. So I have- a bunch of a bunch of things that have spots in here at this point and well I'm already seeing that I'm gonna need more pretty quickly if not sooner than that but yeah we have you know stone dirt those types of things up at the top and then that moves over into some nether items and then mob drops and then organics uh, the leaves that I collect the most of and wood mostly from there. I've also got a little walkway that you can see starting up there and we're going to go ahead and move some of our storage into that system and then we're going to make just like a, a smooth transition over to where our trap chest is to drop things in for our bulk storage um, and I used a trap chest because I like being able to drop something in and it not leave immediately 
Um, just in case, you know, I needed, I dropped something in that shouldn't be in there or whatever, you know. Now this definitely is going to have uh, more work done. Obviously the walls aren't finished and like just figuring out like how I want all this transition to go. But I suppose with that all said, it's time to break a bunch of these uh, chests and barrels and things and get stuff into our bulk item sorting system. Okay, this feels so much better. I'm so glad to have all that organization out of the way finally. Also, look at this, look at this area. This reminds me, weirdly enough, of a Skyrim dungeon. Anyways, this is where our trap chest is and we've got a bunch of workbench areas over here, a little bit of smelting, and then we come down here and in the hallway we have our like multiple item manual storage. I love this window so much. Oh, it's getting dark outside. That's not my favorite thing. Anyways, um, and then we can pop right on down to the bulk storage, which has been sorting logs. I spent a bunch of time just cutting down trees last night. So we have a little bit of wood finally pouring, a lot of jungle wood, pouring into our system here. Um, I don't didn't do those guys. You know what I uh, also totally forgot to do and missed? Uh, where are they? Our spruce logs. Our spruce logs somehow didn't make it into the storage system. So that's yet another thing that I need a good storage area for. So like this is going to be expanded real fast, I feel like. So I've been playing around with some chiseled bookshelves and, well, I have a bunch of books and I want to go ahead and put them on the shelves. Let's see. Let's put this last one down right here, I think. Also, I discovered the hard way that you have to break them with silk touch, so don't, don't, don't break them without silk touch. Anyways, this corner is a much cozier little reading nook now and I love it. Jump. <gasps> Yes! Oh, look at me, I am smart! I put a fence under the carpet, and now we can just, like, walk up onto our chair. This is very cozy. I feel like we should go ahead and, uh, listen to some music, because I set up the little music corner, too. Now, I haven't listened to this yet. Um, it's been in a couple of YouTubers' videos, and I have skipped over it. So this is my first time listening to it kind of cool.
How funny. It sends a redstone signal when it's done. I don't think I knew that. Oh, look at this lovely area that we've built up here. I'm... Except for except for that thing. We'll, we'll deal with it eventually. I feel like uh, 1.20 arriving and me dealing with my storage issue have made me so excited to like actually keep playing in this world. I am so glad to have that storage under control. I can't tell you how much of me was like just dreading being in this world because my storage system wasn't... <laughs> wasn't uh decent and it was it was it was overwhelming so i'm really glad i have that done i'm so excited for like all the creativity that 1.20 has like encouraged me to use and i'm really happy to just kind of be back in this world chilling and enjoying it I hope you all enjoyed this episode. It felt very cozy and very productive to me to make. So, um, I loved it. Anyways, if you did, leave a like and consider subscribing. I hope that I will see you around for future episodes. But for now, 